In this video, we're going to talk about how to write a C program that takes command line arguments. So I'm going to start off with this empty C program that has just the basic things that you need to have. And where we're going to make our initial change is instead of taking void as the parameter domain, we're going to take two parameters. The first is an integer called argc, which stands for argument count. And then we're going to have an array of character pointers that we're going to call argv. So the parameters, argc is the number of arguments, and argv is an array of strings holding each argument. So you should note that each argument is passed as a string, whether or not it has numeric values or character values. So to use these, first let's print the number of arguments passed to our program. So we'll say that argc is equal some number, and we'll print argc. Actually, before we do anything more, let's compile and run this. And when we run, we get one argument. Here we have five. And you'll notice if there's no arguments passed, the argc is still one. And the reason for that, as we'll see in a moment, is that the actual command name is the first argument. So let's print out each argument. So we'll do that in a loop from zero to argc, and we'll print which particular argument we have and what its string value is. So now let's compile and run. When we have no parameters, you can see that argv0 is a dot out. And if I run with several parameters, you can see here are the individual parameters. Now, if I have some numbers here, you can see that that's multiple parameters. And even though those are numeric characters, they're still treated as character input, not as numbers. One other thing is if I want to have a larger string as an input, you can see if I surround it in quotes, then that is treated as one argument. Otherwise, each space indicates a new argument. So that's a quick introduction to how to get command line arguments in C. One thing to keep in mind is that if you want to get numeric inputs, you are going to need to do some conversion between the string and convert that to a number. But outside of that caveat, this is how you would get those arguments.